How do you think? Which camera is better for FPV? The GoPro Hero or the latest and the newest DJI Osmo Action 4? Yes, I know. I'm using almost a two years old GoPro Hero 10, not the latest GoPro Hero 11 or only announced GoPro Hero 12. But well, this is what I got. So let's test with what I have, because two weeks ago I bought the Osmo Action 4 and I own the GoPro Hero 10, I decided to make a side-by-side -side comparison of both cameras. To do so, I installed both of them at my CineLifter and on both cameras I chosen similar presets. So 4K, onboard stabilization on, 8-bit color, natural or close to color profile and what's very important, the white balance was locked at the 5600 Kevins. And of course, no ND filter on any of the cameras. Let's roll the tape. Before I will share my thoughts on the comparison, what are yours? What do you think? Which camera is better? Please write your opinions in the comments of this video. And of course, if you like what you've seen, hit like and subscribe to the channel. And the results are, well, interesting. But remember, this is my personal opinion on the subject. It's still up to you to decide on which of those two cameras is better for the FPV for you. And it goes like that. They are different. But if you would ask me which one is better, I would, well, have something of a problem. Bear in mind, we are talking about the image that was not color graded, that just came out straight from the camera. You should clearly see that the GoPro image has slightly more contrast and the colors are brighter and warmer. You know, super nice, contrast, colorful, beautiful image. However, at the same time, the image is slightly oversaturated and over sharpened. In high contrast, low light, you can clearly see that there is probably slightly too much of the image processing. At the same time, the image recorded by the DJI Osmo Action 4 has less contrast, has darker and colder colors. But if you look carefully, you might notice that the low light has handling and the number of details in the lower brightness regions is actually higher than in case of the GoPro. Yes, there might be less contrast, but at the same time there is more low light details. So what's the verdict? Which one is better, you might ask? And my answer is that as long as you are not looking a high level cinematographic camera, and by the way, none of those is really high quality super cinematographic camera, 
The better camera is the one that is cheaper or the one that you own. Yes, if I would have to choose the camera that has slightly better image quality, I would actually choose the DJI Osmo Action 4 because there is just slightly more details in the low light areas. If you start to adjust the image in the post-production, in other words, color grade this thing, you will get much further done with the GoPro. On the other hand, the GoPro out of the box image is well, um, slightly prettier or at least looks slightly prettier all thanks to slightly warmer color profile and more contrast. In some places GoPro wins, in some places DJI Osmo Action 4 is just a better camera. The difference is of course there, but really it's not that big and it's all up to your personal preference. Here's the next video you should watch. In the meantime, this was the FPV University. I'm Paweł Spychalski. Thank you very much for watching and like always, happy flying!